Hi, this is Scott Fresner, developer of TCEPs and Fast Films. I'd like to run a simulated process routine called Five Color Plus Two Whites. Now, we're going to run this on a little more photorealistic image right now. And we just click the button, and again, TCEPs always prompts you and tells you what's going to happen. It holds your hand, tells you to open the masked version first, the unmasked version second. Let's run this cartoony design of the hog. Now again, TCEPs analyzes it, does almost 500 moves, things, things that would take a good artist half a day to do. Now the separations are done. That's the original file right there. And here's our channel separations. There's the underbase separation. There's the lemon yellow, scarlet red, dark blue, light blue, which you can see we may or may not need that. Highlight white, very critical color by the way. The highlight white is key to these designs on dark shirts especially, and black. And of course we don't print black on a black shirt. And you can see that uh, we covered in the preparing artwork and in the fixing bed artwork for TCEPs that to make a color darker, it puts a lot of black in it. As an example, there's a lot of black in there, and it's because this is a darker shade of the color, and it's dirty, and the black wants to, is used to muddy this thing up. And you may get a little more dot gain at press, so it may get darker yet. Now let's look at this on a black shirt. There's the black shirt first. There's the underbase, lemon yellow, scarlet red, royal blue, light blue, highlight white. We don't print black ink on a black shirt. Looks pretty good to me. Now we could change the shirt color and see what it's going to look like. We can also see if we can reduce the color count. Let's take a look at the light blue. It's actually not a whole lot. Right in there, take the light blue off. Now I could combine the channels and we'll show that in a different video. But for right now, I might just dump the light blue, delete, drop it to the trash can. And now I have a one, two, three, four, five color print on a dark shirt. And it's not bad looking. I might boost the yellow a little bit. I'm looking at this and just doing a judgment call. You have to trust your instincts with TCEPs and not be shy, be brave, and make tweaks and see what happens. This program gets you within 95% of where you want to be. What you just saw would have taken a good artist two or three hours to do, and it did it in about 30 seconds. Let's click on the yellow channel, go to the image pull-down menu, come down to adjustments, come down to curves. And let's just pop that yellow a little bit, see what happens much better. It's making the browns better. Because it's making the browns with the reds and the yellows and the blues. I think it's much better, frankly. Now, TCEPs is showing you the print sequence. It actually separates for the right print sequence, and it's showing you in the channel name the actual name of the color, and it gives you a Pantone callout. You can use any off-the-shelf ink. Most companies, lemon yellow is lemon yellow, scarlet red is scarlet red. This is actually a royal blue, and the color I deleted was a light blue. And if you double click on the actual channel, you'll see the actual color, and you'll see a little window that says solidity. Do not change these numbers. This has nothing to do with when you output the films. It has to do with how they display. We know that white ink on a black shirt is not going to give you solid white ink. And so we're going to display it the way it's going to print. This is the beauty of TCEPs is what you see is what you get. If you don't like what you see, you better correct it or fix it because it's what you're going to get when you go to press. If we click on the lemon yellow, we can see that solidity is set for 5%. Click on the Dark blue, solidity is 5%. Don't change these numbers. Click on the highlight white, the solidity is 90%. When you print white ink on white ink, wet white on flashed white ink, you're going to get a pretty bright white. So this is the print order. Now you could come back and change and change these headers. I can come back and say, let's make this the first color down. Let's put it on a 230 mesh. And I could come to the next one and say, this is color number two. And let's put it on a 305 mesh, color number three. The program doesn't do this for you automatically because, as you can see, we delete colors sometimes. And when we're done running, we make changes that change. So we could even change the color sequence, color number four, 305 mesh, and color number five. 230. You can see that it's pretty standard that we're using 230s for the underbase and highlight, 305 for the colors. If you're new to this process, just buy into it. This is how you get soft prints on dark shirts. In fact, when you print these things on a dark shirt, as I showed earlier, if your underbase looks good, you're probably home free. 
Now we can also rearrange the channel sequence. The program is programmed to try and separate light to dark. That's a typical way we print shirts. And so it has the lemon yellow first, scarlet red second. Now the blues and the light blue did come afterwards because the blues typically print on top of the reds and yellows. But I could put the yellow down after the blue. I didn't see much of a change. If you blinked, you saw a very slight change. I could put the red down after the highlight. Again, not much of a change. For this design, it doesn't have much of an effect. Some designs, it can be different, and you'll see that it can improve or maybe decrease the quality of the print. This is a simple five color plus two whites that was seven colors that we got down to a five color print on a light or dark shirt.